You want to jump in? Come on up. Yeah, Darren's coming up. You want to do it with Darren? I'll get up. Jump in there. All right. You. Yeah. All right. Well, hello everybody. This is Darren Walding again. I'm uh, here with Fast Lenny and uh, Kim Jones is with us. We're watching uh, Shane Van Boning and Randy Baker playing a uh, race to seven. Just here for a few minutes, folks. Just wanted to talk to you guys about uh, Backer TV and the giveaway that we're having. Thank you guys for signing up, those who did, and good luck to you, those who are still in it for the CWO. Um, we're doing it for the events that are coming up for the Western BCA, so stay tuned. And if you have not logged in already, it is at backertv.com slash Western BCA entry form is at the bottom of the page and you just need your first last name and email and we'll get you in on the action i'm going to be posting the brackets for each of the events as they come up so you can stay tuned get in on the action root for a player um and making an exciting 10 days up here with uh Lenny and on the rail tv which is doing an excellent job well thank you kim for doing that i signed up myself everybody else needs to make sure they sign up as well Definitely. Get in on the fun. And I'm also going to be posting a suggestion box. This is our very first event, so all suggestions are welcome. If you'd like to see something else, like to see us do something else, definitely um, put in a suggestion and we'll make it better the next go around. Um, it's all about engaging with the fans. So if you guys would like to see something or be involved, hey, okay, let us know. Backertv.com slash WBCA. Thanks. Uh, looks like Randy's making good work of this table. He's got a pocket this nine ball on the side and uh, play that 15 next. <laughs> so looks like Kim's going to step out. I'm on my own here. All of those of you not from the Northwest, this is uh, Randy Baker. He's a local Northwest player. He's out of uh, Colby's Billiards in Salem, Oregon, Kaiser Salem area. He plays great. Eight ball on a bar table. So it looks like he's just got to deal with this 14 ball, play the 12, and then the eight. He's sitting good. Like it's pretty self-explanatory from here. How do you like that? I think uh, Randy's saying, "Welcome to the Northwest, Shane. You don't get to walk away with one this time." Good job, Randy. All right. So I'm biased. I'm rooting for the local boy, but I am a big Shane Van Boning fan. So he's one of my favorite players in the nation, in the world. <laughs> Randy puts in a lot of time on these bar tables playing a eight ball, nine ball. He's got one of the pool room Colby's to play with, play out of, and he's playing on these tables all the time. Kind of like Shane's on the big tables a lot. But that was a big game there, folks, because that means that uh, Shane didn't hold serve. And if Randy can hold serve all the way through the match, Without making a mistake, he can win this thing. So Randy's definitely keeping a calm state about himself. Or it looks well, well together. And See what his break develops for him. Keep 
that cue ball out of the pocket. He's fired a ball in the hole. He's got the. Oh, he's got a shot. It's not probably his favorite shot, but he's got one. Looks like he's going to have to play this 12 ball in the side pocket. Probably bump the one thinly on the way by or maybe miss it. It's hard to tell from this angle I'm sitting at. Nice shot, Randy. Starts the run off. He's got a nice little pattern here, really. shoot the 13 ball. He could shoot the 14 if he wants, but or 15. It's a 15 in the side pocket. He's looking at that as well. But he knows it's going to bump the 2 a little bit. On the flip side here, he shoots the 13, draws back, and then plays the 15. He's looking at this nine ball. Looks like it goes in there. So I didn't think it went, but it sure does. It passes that green six ball. I'm just gonna roll this in and probably bump that stripe softly. Yeah, nice shot, nice touch. I think he's got to take the 11 ball in the side pocket here. If he plays this uh, 14, the position play gets real tricky. Yeah, he's got a whole pocket here for the 11. He's got to make sure he doesn't bump the 10 at all. He's got to pocket this right through the wicket and don't bump the 10 on the way by. There you go, Randy. Now you're looking good. You got the 10 ball. And the 14, the 10, 15. I think you would have liked to get that a little softer. I would have. Yeah, see, it might be hard to see, but that's a stripe along the rail that. Uh, 14 ball. See, if he plays this 15 in the side, he's going to bump that two ball towards his other stripe, which he doesn't want to do. So he's probably got to, I don't know. He's got to draw the 14 and draw back out. So he's realized he's got to shoot this 14 with a touch of low left English. It's okay to bump if he bumps that green ball. Going towards the side, he hit it soft enough to beat this scratch. He's looking good here. Shoot this with a stop ball. There you go. 2 0 lead. That's exactly where you want to be if you're Randy and you're playing Shane Van Boney. How do you like that? That's. It's a great welcome. We will always want to welcome Shane to the Northwest. We love having this guy here. Our favorite players on the planet, I tell you.
Shane shaking his head. He ain't happy. Catches his Randy ain't a lot of mistake here. Shane definitely isn't a lot of mistake either, so. Notice the attention to detail Shane gives racking the balls. I've noticed that a lot with the top pros. They pay close attention to how they rack the balls. Shout out to my buddy Rob watching the stream. Look at that break by Shane. What a sledgehammer break. They talked about that in the color of money. Dang, that's beautiful. It's like magic. Guy breaks the balls like King Kong. I think they're making a movie about it. King Kong breaks the balls and Shane's gonna be hitting them for King Kong. So beautiful the way he breaks, I tell you folks. You guys want to pattern your break after somebody this is the man right here so he goes for a nice natural easy pattern see how well he does at it of course he's got a history of doing really well at everything he does so it's interesting that he's choosing this 11 ball first i don't know that i'd do that but hey nine second gets in this guy yeah, he's looking good. <clears throat> it looks like he's got to get, get an inch of drift forward on this ball. I don't think he got much. Oh, he wanted to cut it. Okay, he's all right. See, that's why I can't second guess this guy. He shoots too good. And that rack took all of maybe 60 seconds, folks. He ain't messing around. He came here to win. He's got a habit of winning. He's kind of hooked on it. Like little kids on candy, this Shane Van Boning guy likes to win, I'm telling you. Let's see if Randy uh, <clears throat> eyeballs the rack. Hey everybody, it's good to see you out there. You get to see me live. Hope my face ain't breaking the camera. Poor Lenny's taking a lot of risk there. <clears throat> All right, Randy. He did pay some attention to it. But notice a little subtle difference and not quite as much attention as the pros are paying. They're so minute. Because one little hair of a loose ball will cause them problems. <clears throat> So Randy's got to play a good break here. Make the ball and not scratch. He's, he's made a ball and not scratched. Life is good. You gotta love it. Stripes aren't looking that pretty, folks. Look at this. This is beautiful. Shoot the three, the seven. Oh, this is beautiful right here. This is magic. You like a rack like this. What is he doing? Please don't take stripes, Randy. Please don't take stripes. There we go. He sees it now. Three, seven. He overruled that a bit. He's not happy with it. You see, he's got to shoot this one ball with a low right cue ball, not hit the 4 2 11. Otherwise, if he does, he's likely to scratch in the side. 
He's gonna take a, that magic rack off the table out of play and uh, shoot that with a low right ball. Drift over and out. If he shoots the two now, I don't like it. He'll be sleeping in the streets. That's no good. No good at all. Some shots you just got to put on your big boy pants and hit the ball. Oh, that's nicely done. Nicely struck. Now, if he can shoot this four and draw back for the two, that's even better. But if he can roll the two forward, either one. It's kind of like us. What do you like? I think he's good. Shoot us off and draw, draw that back about three and a half inches. So he's overshot a little bit. Now he's got to shoot the two in the corner, go over and back. He's got to go over and over. <clears throat> Crossing over two times when you gotta, you gotta punch this ball firm. And these pockets will accept it, but you gotta split the wicket if you're gonna do it. Easy to over under hit. Oh, he hit that like magic, kids. That was beautiful. Very nicely done by Randy Baker. Very nicely done. Oh, ding a ling. Three to one. You gotta love it, baby. Northwest representing. Shane gives a grimace. Soft and subtle. Hard to read, but I've seen it before. Shane knows he has an uphill battle from here, but nobody battles like this guy, Shane Van Boning. He's got a record of it. Make a book on it. See if uh, Shane maintains that same control on his break when he's a little bit pissed off about being down three to one. And he not only maintains the control, he seems to improve it. How good is that, folks? Uh oh. But he finally got kind of a bad roll here. Look at that tie up of solids and stripes. That's no fun. Man. This is not an easy out, kids. This is definitely not an easy out. He's gonna have to pull down some of that heavy world championship skill to get out with this rack, because believe me, this ain't easy. He's going to take the combo on the solid, which you can do in the BCA rules. The table's open and you can hit a stripe into the solid after the break. Get that real soft. It's almost a little uh, softer than you normally see Shane hit a ball. He's going to hit this with the center, touch a high left, tiny touch, and bust open that four ball. But he's still got the three to deal with. I think he'd like to uh, not bump anything, but I think it's smarter to bump a four. And if you could do a straight in stop shot, you can't because you got an angle. not bad but then you have an angle on the one if you bump into that four that angle won't scare him on the one but he's still sitting there going what's that gonna do to the three <clears throat> I like it I like it if you bump that one shoot the one carry the cue ball into the 11 after you cut the one and you're sitting on the four start the car baby
He's acting like it's hard, but he's done he's done tougher outs. Let me tell you, folks, I've seen him do it. But he's got to make it. He knows it's critical not to make a mistake from here. Because the pressure is on him. Randy has a two-game lead, and Shane cannot afford to miss the ball from here. We're missing out. He can't get. He has to get out. Oh no! He got locked up tight. He's in deep dark territory here. But I look for him to lay down a safety, come off that one ball, freeze him underneath the 10, see if he does that. It's his only option if he can even do it. Ooh, he's too tight to get under the 10 maybe. But you should have with the low left mass. Hey, thank you Fast Lenny for the magical camera work and zoom angle, that's beautiful. looking at whether that four ball can do anything with that one. Looking at this space. So Shane called the ball, key ball frozen to the four. And we're gonna get a ref here to watch the shot. So he's playing the 4-1 combo, kids. You're going to see a great shot here if he makes this. I'm rooting for him to make it because it's a beautiful shot. It requires a lot of knowledge, kids. I hope he makes it. I really do. It's a beautiful shot. Come on, Shane. Oh. So because it was frozen, he was able to push through it like that. <clears throat> now, Randy's got a lot of pressure on Shane here. If he keeps it up here and you know shoots this nine ball stop shot, Runs this rack out. That's a four to one lead on Shane Van Bunning going to seven. And I don't care who you are, you like that kind of advantage. Randy's methodically planning out his whole pattern. All right, Randy. It looks like he's going to touch a high ball. I don't know that I like that. It's not bad. Randy's been known to slow roll balls like that, so that's right up his bally wick, if you will. See, he's looking at that 11. The eight ball's his trouble ball. I tell you what I like doing here is shoot this 15 in the side, come down here, play the 12. Oh, he's gonna... Ooh, he's going to play the 11 now. I was going to say play the 12, then use the shoot the 10, come around three, two rails on shooting the 10 and break out the 11-8. That gives you the 11-15 as an outlet ball. The danger in breaking out the 8-ball here this way, the 8-ball could bounce too far out. I'm not good at that magically, sweet kids. That's like a... Now, he shoots his 15. I think he's a touch jacked up over the four ball, but he is not going to even risk jacking up. It looks like he's not going to risk jacking up his cool stick and shooting that 14. He's going to shoot that 12, that 14 in the side.
Yeah, he's going to hit a touch of high English. Now, see, notice what he did there. He he top spun the cue ball down to the rail, so he's got an angle making it harder for him to get kind of hooked behind the floor ball. He didn't want to risk being straight in and having the cue ball roll forward. Now, he could still technically get hooked by the floor ball, but it's a lot less likely at that angle. Ooh, he missed it. He up jumped the rabbit, but look, the snowy's safe. You gotta love it, kids. You gotta love it. Oh my goodness. Now the question is, is the cue ball froze again? Talking to himself and letting her underneath his breath. I don't watch, he's gonna lay down that log tight safe. Let's see what he does. How his speed so Watch his speed. Gotta watch his speed. He's gonna lock Randy to a ball just like. Whew. See, that's some that's some advanced one pocket knowledge right there, kids. That's how you do it, baby. Now Randy don't have a lot of options. He's hopefully gonna be able to hit this 10. So thin oh, he's looking to go in that way. I don't like that. There's a like chances of scratching. Like, like the chances of it not raining on a rainy day. <laughs> I mean, I know why he wants to go that way. That's the highest percentage of the safety, but oh my goodness. But look how tight this is with the camera. Oh, look at this. He gets a rail too, kids. Oh, wow. What a great shot. Oh my goodness. But here's the deal. Landy, Randy shot a great shot. He's got the South Dakota kid in a trap, and he's got nerves of steel. This guy, he's got to just fire that three ball up in the corner because that's all he's got. And he knows his tournament life depends on it. And he's got he's got more game than Parker Brothers. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, there. What's he doing? Did he? No, he didn't call it bank. He called it in the corner, right? Yeah, he's cutting that three up in the corner. He's got to be. He's got to be. There's no, you don't bank this ball, that's for sure. Oh, he's banking it with the low cue ball. It's not bad, though. I like that. That causes it. Oh, look at this. He's playing D. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. He's saying, this kid's playing good, trying to outsmart the champ. Remember. Always remember, the king, king may let you look at the throne, but he ain't going to let you sit in it. Not very easy. Overthrowing a champ ain't easy, is all I'm trying to say. <clears throat> Alright, Randy's run out of options here. He's only got two balls on the table. And I'm sorry, it's freaking go time. You gotta kick bank the 10 ball. That's all you got, Randy. You can't kick behind it, you got it. Well, you know what? You could shoot the safety, play off of the 10, cue ball two rails, frozen to the back of the eight, and you gotta nut it so perfect and so sweet. It's gotta be hit so sweet. Shoots his safety. The worst he could do is, you know. He hit it good, but he left Shane at look. 
Well, Shane's got to be tired of this ticky tack at this point. He's got to want to shoot. And if anybody knows how to put on their big boy pants and pull the trigger, it's this man right here, kids. So he's going to shoot this four ball. Oh no, is he going to? He's, yeah, he's shooting the four ball. Shoot it with the low ball, make sure that it draws to the rail and back out. See, he ain't messing around. See, notice he wanted to make sure that, if, God forbid, the one million chance he misses that ball, because he don't miss very often, that he leaves Randy a tough shot. Now, he's going to draw this over and out. He's ready to let his stroke out. Oh, look at the scratch. Oh my goodness. He's, oh, he under hit it. He's all right, folks. But he tempted fate. I got to tell you, he tempted fate. But, all right. South Dakota kid putting it down like James Brown. You got to love it. Nice work, Shane. Nice game, Randy. You played great there. Man, you guys gotta love this game. I don't know, this is so beautiful to watch. It's a work of art, the way they're playing it. I see our buddy Wired Spaces in the chat. Shout out to him. Wonder why you're not down here. So, score a three to two. We got Randy racking the balls. And shout out to all my friends out there in the chat. Hope you guys are all tuning in, sharing it on Facebook, liking on the Rail TV, and uh, supporting it. So you can keep watching this stuff. Subscribe to Fast Lenny 69 YouTube channel and uh, subscribe on YouTube. I subscribe everywhere so I don't miss anything Lenny's doing. That's what I do. All right, Randy, here's time to come with a good break. Oh, uh, that break, notice, folks, he, he did not hit it like he did the others. He lost a little pep in his step. <clears throat> Dry break at 3 2 is going to. Change the tide of this match. <laughs> so it looks like Shane's going after the little ones. Now he's getting, getting ready to clear them problem balls first. He's looking at that 7 in the side, knowing that he's got a half a pocket to get by that 11. He don't like it, but he knows just got to do it. Just got to do it. Wouldn't be prudent not to. A bump and tickle on the eight, that's what we call that. Bump and tickle. Oh, my goodness! Did he leave himself a window for the deuce? Yeah, he did. He he ain't unhappy, so that means he got there. Shoot this two with the sop draw, eighth half inch. I'm like, oh, he's going forward. He goes forward because he can. Either way is fine. So, it's duck duck soup from here, kids. Ring a ring a ding dong. Just 
just like that, lickety splat. We are staring at a 3 3 ball game. So, as Shane racks the balls, I want to give a shout out to our sponsor, Chinook Winds Casino and Resort. If you have not been here, you got to get here. This place is amazing. They are wonderful hosts of this event. And we are here watching the Chinook Winds Open, the 24,000 added men's division. We got 6,000 guaranteed first place in the women's division. And we got a full schedule of events. So, if you're not here, get here. And for those of you who aren't, I know you're probably coming soon for the rest of the scotch singles and all that other stuff. So here we go. South Dakota kid about to break the balls. Hits it like a big dog. How do you like him now? Crushes it. That guy's break shot is so beautiful. It's like magic. It's like magic. <clears throat> but he, he seems to have some challenging racks sometimes. And this is another one of those situations where he has a kind of a challenging rack. I mean, he can get there, but... He's in a spot here where he don't like solids or stripes. I don't blame him. But notice how he's a smart, decisive player. He takes his time, studies the table and then commits to his way of getting out and then goes for it. But he's really studying the pattern of play. What's gonna happen, where, when. And he knows that, I think it's a 15 down there by the six that ain't the prettiest of situations. And that, tw that two ball by the 12 don't bother him because he can shoot the 10 or 10 or 11 ball into that two and shoot that triple combo all day long. But that's, that lone stripe over there rounded, surrounded by solids don't have a good breakup ball. And that makes it particularly challenging. Oh, check this out. Is he, is he calling the triple combo? I think he did. Let's see, let's see how he lines up. Yes, he did, he lined up for the triple combo, kids. I like butter, baby, that solves it. Ooh, now that ball's tied up. That ain't easy being cheesy from there. Hindsight being 2020, he had a little bit of a, too much speed on that shot. A little less would have done him right. Oh, he's looking at it now. Wow, it's tight. This guy hits a ball so accurate, tight shots don't bother him. thing about Shane is, you know, he's got amazing accuracy. And he overhit the speed on that one. And I'll tell you why, because he was only worried about one thing, making sure he hit that ball spot on. And he hit it spot on like he wanted to. He didn't want to be jacked up, but it don't fade him. 
Now he's got the five ball to break out the, the deal with that three. He must be planning to bank that deuce. That must be part of the plan. Unless he's gonna break it out here with King Kong stroke. <clears throat> here we go. Nope, he's drawing this out of there, it looks like. So he plays shape with the bank now. Trust me, this ain't no easy bank. I don't like that bank. It goes. Talk about a bank shot that has to be hit good. But he's got to deal with this three ball as well, so might as well shoot the three. Play the one and play shape on the bank again. So he's going to play that three in the side. The side pockets don't phase this guy. He used to not shoot very many balls in the side pocket until I watched him. He makes so many balls in the side pocket, I'm like, oh my goodness. Oh, he drew back down for the bank net. See, he didn't want to leave that bank for his position play on the eight. That was really smart. And this time, he made sure he got well under. <clears throat> now look for him to pinch this bank back with a low left ball. No, he might shoot. Ooh. He's got to have a touch of low on it. I ain't going to do it. And believe me, these tables bank short. They have a tendency to, especially with a low ball. And he has worked this out. He has worked this out, kids. That ain't no hill for a climber. In case any of you wondering how to get out that rack, I think this man just showed you how. Now, just a minute ago, we had Shane Van Boning down three to two. Now he's up four to three. And Shane has the break advantage. So Randy's really, really got to make zero mistakes. He's in the spot Shane was in earlier. Zero mistakes. And he needs Shane to make one. That is not where you want to be. Alright, so Randy's got the balls all wrapped and uh, I'm telling you folks, we got a lot of good action just a couple tables over. Looks like uh, we got some other really tough, good matches going on. Uh, my buddy Stan Tarango is playing over there. Okay, Randy, you got to get back to your original break the first two times. Uh oh, here goes the snowball. Oh, no. It's in the drink. Old Man River. You don't have to like that. So Randy's break has not been consistent. Shane's has been consistent. Therein, folks, we have the difference. Randy's break that got him the lead was very strong. So yeah. So yeah, my buddy Stan's playing Roberto Gomez over there, and I think he's up uh, five to two or five to three. So I think he's doing all right. Five to two. Look at this. Shane's gonna shoot this combo. Just to clear those balls. How many out there in the 
in the chat room would have shot that combo to start your shot. I don't think very many of you. Maybe some of you. Who knows? Bam! Hits it like a champ. I love the explosiveness of his stroke. He punches that cue ball like a boxer would a face. <clears throat> Draws that thing like it's an art canvas. So he's going to use that green six ball as his outlet ball to get to the eight. Clickety clack, three seven, shoot the six, and start the car again. <laughs> he's playing like he's got dinner reservations. How do you like that? <laughs> so beautiful. Touch and follow. Ramalam ding dong, this game's over. Bam, shot through the heart. <clears throat> so it looks like uh, Randy's gonna do a quick player timeout. minutes here so for those of you at home refresh your uh, sodas or coffee or other adult beverages you might be partaking and uh, don't forget to come out to Chinook Winds Casino Resort if you're ever nearby and you guys are all watching the Chinook Winds open don't forget to support on the rail TV and uh, Super Billiards Expo coming up March 30th or April 2nd. You gotta love that. Billiard Bills, QB Custom Cues. I've seen some of those things. They are beautiful. Y'all ought to get you one. I'm telling you. So these are the spots. Apparel Company is a unique apparel company focused on providing exciting and new clothing designs to athletes and competitors. In sports, when a competitor is at the top of their game and performing in the zone, they are sometimes said to be playing lights out. Our business is committed to providing uniquely designed apparel for the hungriest and most determined competitors. All athletes are born to compete, but only the very best play lights out. All right, folks, we are back. And hey, I just, for all you fans out there in the chat room, I just sent a good friend of mine down there to uh, check the scores because we got uh, we got Dennis Orculos down there playing uh, Sky Woodward. How do you like those apples? If that ain't a good match. I don't know what is. And Amar Kang is playing... Uh, Amar Kang is playing Randy Comantigi from the Northwest. So for those of you from uh, the Seattle area, Rand Randy's a local, one of the few locals back in.
still waiting for Randy to return to the table. Put you on hold one second, see. So I can get you guys an update. So just out of your range, about five tables over, you can't see it. Uh, Amar King is ahead uh, five zero. I'm sorry, Mark King's up 6-0 uh, against Randy Kamantigi, and Dennis is up 5-4 on uh, Sky Woodward, so. And we might have got the scores reversed earlier, Roberto Gomez versus Stan Tarango. Roberto Gomez just beat Stan 6-2. I thought uh, Stan was up 5-2 earlier, but we had him backwards. Roberto was up. So stands out and Shane's back to the table. Here comes that magic break, kids. Bam! Like butter. Oh, a cue ball. He kissed around a few times, though. It wanted a scratch. Cue ball said, nope, I just got hit by the South Dakota kid. I don't scratch that often. It's beautiful, beautiful. He's going to shoot this seven ball, rail first, run on up for the one ball. Nobody shoots rail first, a little ticky tacks better than this guy. Notice how he got enough speed to not get underneath that stripe. Out and over for that five ball, five, two, six, eight. See you later. Oh, he's going to go 6-2. Same difference. Whatever. He likes it that way. He likes to move the snowball. He ain't afraid to move it. I bet you Shane would be good in a speed pool competition. The way he plays so smooth, but he ain't even playing fast like he's rushed. He's smooth like butter. Well, kids, that just made it a 6-3 lead for Shane Van Boeing. Randy Baker's odds of winning this just went uh, so close to nil, I can't even describe it. He had a chance with that lead, but no good. So just so you guys know, the brackets are available on ctsondemand.com, ctsondemand.com. This is a match for 9th through 12th, so assuming Shane wins this like uh, he's the 99.99 favorite to do from here. Uh, Randy Baker is going to go home with 9th through 12th place, which pays $660, so he can afford a little more than a cheeseburger, maybe a steak dinner, you know. But, uh, Stan, I'm sorry, Shane is going to go on to play the winner of Dennis Orculo versus Sky Woodward. Believe me, that's still a tight match over there, and that could go either way. So, unfortunately, I can't watch it because I'm busy watching this. And so, Shane uh, made a bit of a slipperoony there. Moving that stripe underneath the solid. It's 
tough work from here. She's gonna back cut this 11 in the side. Question is, did he get it out enough to make it? I don't think he has much here. Oh, he's, I think he has a look at the 12. He's got a look at the 12. He's acting like it, so he must have it. Wow, he's gonna shoot this 12, low English. Stun the cue ball over, shoot. Oh, he's gonna shoot the 14. No, I don't know. He's looking at the 14 in the side and breaking out that ball. Oh, he's going to play the shape for the breakout, for the shot on the breakout. Yeah. He's going to get the shape he wanted for the breakout, so he gets ideal. Very smart. Very smart. Oh, he ain't worried about the breakout at all. He's gonna break this out. Let's see how he NC works it out. And Jeremy, table 38. And and Jeremy, table 38. Eddie and Jose, table 39. Eddie and Jose, table 39. And Randy and Daniel, table 40. Randy and Daniel, table number 40. Race to three. Shane makes this eight ball. It is all over. Oh no! Up jumped the white rabbit. You gotta. Oh my goodness. Wowzer Dowser did not think he'd miss that one. Alright Randy, let's see if you can uh, make a little run out here and at least go out with a little uh, closer score. Yeah, I look for Randy to get out here. This isn't that hard. The table's wide open, the balls are loose. Straight on this four is going to solve the problem of the four. Maintained a nice little angle to come off the rail. Shoot the one, two. Pretty easy. But here's the rub. Shane breaks next. That's the rub. Randy Baker puts up a little bit of a fight. Says, Shane, if you're going to beat me, you got to do it. <laughs> Still don't like Randy's chances because besides Shane breaking now, he's breaking again at 6'6. Six, six.
Trims that break. He crushed it. Oh my goodness, he scratched. Just threw Randy a lifeline. Says, hey Randy, do you want to get on the hill? You better run this one out in one more and you're on the hill, baby. First uh, scratch I've seen from Shane, he hasn't scratched very often, I gotta tell you. Chances and odds of that happening aren't very likely. Randy does here. He's studying the table, taking his time. He knows if there's a snowball's chance of him getting in this match, he better get out here. So he's going to shoot the 5-7 combo, which I, I can't tell if he's going to stick to that. That's what he's looking at right now. Might be drawn to keep up back to that edge of the one ball, breaking those out, solving all this riddle all at once, because then he'll shoot the five or the six, five or seven next. So he's setting up the old cue ball, I think, at a precise angle to draw back and rub the one, so he doesn't have to deal with the five or one combo. He wanted to get straight in on that uh, six ball. Shot it kind of quick though. He's committed to it. He's going to go ahead and shoot that ball on the side and bump the eight softly. He knows he's got the two ball as a backup ball. But that eight ball is going towards the rail, so he's all right. Now, this can be tricky because the five's in the middle of the table, and that means he could get the wrong angle on the five. He decided he don't want the wrong angle. He's going to play it just right. So he's going to roll this softly forward an ounce. Ooh, he rolled it pretty overshot it so he can draw it over. Same diff. Very nice, Randy. Very nice. Oh, yeah, he's left-handed, so he does everything backwards. Good job, Randy Baker, six to five. You are breaking and you've got the, 
you've got the break and you've got the cue ball in your control. Now, if you notice in the beginning of the match, he's breaking him harder. The cue ball was coming back past the side pocket. And then the last two times he broke, his cue ball was before the side pocket, and it didn't turn out too good for him. Randy runs out here, he'll be on the hill, you gotta love that. I'm all for hill hill matches. So he noticed he changed his break. I think he changed his break from what he was. He's going to the second. He's going to the second ball. Oh no! Come on, cue ball. Give him a ball, please. Oh no! Yowzers! Man, he needed a ball there. All right, well, let's see what Shane does here. He's probably going to do what he always does and runs out. I don't think he wants to let this go to the hills, my, my guess. If I was Shane, I'd shoot this 9 in the side, roll forward with the high right ball, then play the 12, play the 12, out for the 11, then the 13. But hey, that's just me. Because here, if he's looking to shoot in that 12 and throwing in between that 13 2, I don't like it. Even though he can do it, I'm still going to have to like it. If he's going to do it, why do it? There we go, he sees the throw. There we go. Shoot it with the high right ball, just like I said. You gotta love that. I finally called one right. Look at that. Touch a low. Stun over. You got the 11. He probably stuns it over enough to get to the 10, because that's how he is. Oh, he moves that one. I don't think there was any reason to move that ball. It went where it was. I don't like it. You definitely don't want to bump the 8. Oh, he doesn't have to bump the 8. He's all right here. But now you got to play the 11 because you don't want to shoot the 10 jacked up. What's he looking at? Oh, he's looking to put the cue ball right there. Okay, he's just going to play the 10, the 13 in the side, 15, and see you later when your hair gets straighter, because this thing ain't no good. Oh, he didn't want the 13 in the side. He always likes to hit the ball with some pace. Doesn't hit the weak way of hitting the ball. Always hits the ball firm. Got to love that. Just roll this forward with the high ball. Straight in on the 13, and he is... Golden like an Oscar for those of you who like that line. Randy cries uncle. It's all over. Gibbs, Shane Van Boning, the South Dakota Gibbs puts another win in the book. Look at the size of this crowd. They're going crazy. You got to love it. Thank you all out there for hanging in the chat room. And if you all look all the way over in the far table, that lime green shirt, second to the last table, that's Sky Woodward playing Dennis Orculo. I don't know what the score is, but maybe I can get a runner and tell you, or I can run down there. 
I don't think I can get through the crowd to get there, but. All right, well, I think I'm out of here. I might uh, come back with the report on the Sky Woodward or Kulo score if you guys want that. Oh, thank you, Lenny, for having me. I'm, I'm going to go uh, get the Orkula Woodward score and just report it back to him, and then I'm all done. Yeah, we might have the uh, 10 ball finals coming up. That's probably the next thing. Uh, I think they're going to be playing that here in a little while, probably less than an hour. All right, 10 ball finals, less than an hour. you got to love it. Yep, Shane and Jeff Kaluna. Shane and Jeff Kaluna? Yep. Shane Van Bone and Jeff Kaluna. you got to love that.